just getting ready here to uh, to host Florida, number one team in the country. Uh, uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm not just a friend of Billy's, but I'm a fan and and have unbelievable respect for him and his program. And uh, we're going to have to play uh, the best game that we've played in my time uh, here at the University of South Carolina to uh, to, to to have a chance. Uh, and then uh, go to Mississippi State and uh, Rick Ray, the job he's done, uh, keeping those kids together, uh, continues to grow. Uh, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it's a road game uh, somewhere where we have not had success this year. Uh, so uh, it'll be one last opportunity uh, for our team and our program. Our first question is from Ron Aiken of Gamecock Central. Oh, good morning, Coach. I just wanted to ask uh, kind of what the mood has been like with the team following the uh, the big victory over Kentucky. It's business as usual. You know, Ron, it's uh, – we, 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 uh, we as coaches, uh, we don't get too high after wins, too low after loses. It's about the next day. It's about the process, and um, it's, it's how we work, and, uh, and it's kind of what, the, what we want our kids to learn. Uh, and, and to understand, uh, you, you can't get wrapped up in a roller coaster of emotions because of your last game. You you have to uh, you have to enjoy it when you figure out a way to win. You you have to uh, it's got to hurt when you don't win, but then you have to disengage from those emotions and get prepared for the next day. Thank you, coach. Yep. Next up is Mike Kucharski of Spurs and Feathers. Hey, Coach, I just wanted to ask, uh, bringing back Bruce and then honoring him and Brent tomorrow, uh, what does it mean to the program to recognize those guys uh, before the game? Oh, it's, uh, it's, the, you know, it's a great thing. Senior, senior day uh, is a day that I have unbelievable amount of uh, appreciation for. Um, uh, you know, Brent Williams, uh, his growth as a player, uh, his willingness to, to believe in our vision, uh, to work at it, uh, to, to sacrifice, to, to to give us a chance to win games, and and the year he's had. I mean, if you look at his numbers uh, from a a shooting perspective, you can put him up there against anyone else. It's uh, uh, he he's been phenomenal. I mean, 96 percent from the foul line. He shoots a high percentage from the three point line. Uh, he's he's made a bunch of threes. And then Bruce, um, uh, just. Uh, uh, I've got as much respect for him as, as any athlete that I've ever been around. Uh, uh, he was around our team for, for about 12, 14 days this year, and he made an unbelievable impact on our team and, and our young kids. And, uh, you know, and he sacrificed that uniform, not just this year, but, uh, but for the last three years. So it's, uh, uh, it's extremely it's – it's a day that I appreciate a lot. Thanks, Coach. Next question is from Larry Voss of the Danville Advocate Messenger. Yeah, yeah, Frank, could you talk a little bit about what you're going into the Kentucky game, kind of what your philosophy was on trying to contain Julius Randle and, and then how you guys did manage to limit him to just one field goal? It, it, it's, uh, um, you know, it, it, it's the way we play defense. Our, our defense is, is, is all about not allowing the ball uh, to get too deep on the floor, Therefore, uh, you know, guys that play closer to the rim, it's harder to pass them the ball. Uh, and uh, I thought our perimeter defense was real good. I thought Thornwell, Carrera, and Brent Williams uh, were real good at uh, guarding the one, twos, and threes. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, which never allowed the ball to get deep enough on the floor. To, uh, so Randall had to step further away from the rim for his touches. And, um, and then we went zone. And anytime you go zone, you're going to negate inside play. Uh, shot attempts are going to end up with the guards, uh, and uh, and that's kind of what we did in the second half because of foul trouble, and uh, it was kind of working for us, uh, so we stayed in it. Thanks, 